the world is getting tired of hearing our stories. That's one reason that we don't go talking about it. They need an ear, a willing ear, a non-judgmental person to sit here and listen to their story. If not for Hitler, I wouldn't have her. <laughs> we got married in Israel in 1952. My friend was next to me, and he started to run after his father. And I hold him, I hold him back like this. I pulled him to myself. Don't go, don't go. It is a really multifaceted, dimensional way of offering up story and passing it on. As a teenager, I will be able to say, I got to know a Holocaust survivor, I learned their story, and I performed it on stage. We know the facts, but to hear people say their stories, their life, it was, it was, it it's was unbelievable, really a shock. right? It was it's unbelievable. unbelievable. Oh my God! I never thought I would ever see one. Voila, that's a souvenir. This is the real thing. That's what we wear. The Nazi occupied France, and my whole family was killed one by one. I want to know how they're feeling now and how they deal with it. And I want also for the other students to really connect. Thank you for listening. <laughs>